Hey guys, what up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is so exciting. I will be reviewing and demoing the new KKW contour sticks and highlights. I actually did not think I was going to be buying these products, but I did <laughs> because I'm a makeup whore. I'm a makeup whore. I had to. I mean, I had to. I know they're really expensive and a lot of the reviews were not good, but I had to see for myself, so... Anyways, uh, they were expensive. With uh, tax and shipping, it came to $60 and some change, which is fucking ridiculous for the little bits that you get. So hopefully they work and I didn't waste my money. So we'll see. Uh, before I get started, I just wanna show you guys my eyeshadow because I am like fucking obsessed. It is the new Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette, which I never thought in a million years I would buy, but I am obsessed with it. I am not a warm shade eyeshadow girl in the least. I don't wear warm shades. I like cool shades only. But I went and I uh, was passing by the Urban Decay store, saw my friend working, popped in to say hello. She's like, check out the palette. And I'm like, dude, I don't, I don't, I don't fuck with that warm shade gibbery. But then I started swatching it and I was like, you know, YOLO. So I picked it up. Oh my God, you guys, it's so pretty. Look, dude, dude, you have to get it. Like, this is so gorgeous. Oh, okay, anyways. Oh, and on the lips, I have the Smashbox Always Sharp Liner in Nude Medium. I don't know if you can fucking see that, but it's new medium, Smashbox, and then I have the KKW Kimberly Gloss on top. All right, and let's show you how it came. Look how cute. KKW Beauty Box with the matching paper. Super cute. The packaging. I like the packaging. I know a lot of people said it was really cheap, but you're going to throw this shit away anyway, so fuck it. Cute. And then it comes with the dual-sided motif with the brush and the sponge. And these jibbers, two highlights, one matte, one shimmer. Bye. And then two contour jibs. So let's go ahead and get started. Sorry, I make really funny faces. I'm doing it really light because I don't do a strong contour. I usually just bronze TBH. I'm gonna do both shades. I hope everyone had a good 4th of July. Mine was really cool. I got real turnt, went to the beach. It was really fun. Do a little here. Last year, I was so like insecure about my body because I was like 60 pounds heavier than I am now that I just was like a hermit. I didn't leave my house or my apartment, you know? So it was nice like getting out and enjoying life this year, you know? Wow, you guys, this is blending out really nice. It's really creamy and blendable it's not and this brush really works well it's not like wiping any of my foundation away it's really pretty you guys wow that was really easy to blend out Wow, you guys, that's so pretty. I really like it. Okay, I'm gonna go to the matte shade. A little under my eye. A little up here, on my chin. And it says to use the sponge for this. And I watched some reviews that said it's hard to blend out, so blend it out right away. Now I'm gonna try wetting it with some Fix Plus. Oh wow, that oh that's hard. 
Oh, I thought it was a hard ass sponge. Shit. Oh my god, that looks terrible. Ugh. Can you see that? Dude. Ugh. That looks so bad. It's really hard. The sponge sucks. The finish on this matte highlight sucks. It's like wiping away the foundation too. Oh, it looks terrible. It's really, since this is the last thing I'm blending out, it's really hard to blend out. Oh, that's so bad. Ugh. Oh man. Dude, thank God I'm not going anywhere after this or else I'd have to take off my whole face and redo it because the matte shade sucks. All right, let's do some highlight. This is the shimmer side. This is blending out so much better than the matte shade. The sponge still sucks though. Like I would use a beauty blender. Ugh. It's really a natural highlight. It's not like a like bam in your face highlight. Yeah, I love Everything except for the matte shade. I think the matte shade fucking sucks. Like it doesn't blend out well even if you do it right away. Even if you wet the sponge, it might blend out better if you use a beauty blender. I don't know. I probably will never use it again. It's that bad. But the two contour shades and the highlight shade are gorgeous and very creamy, blendable, super pretty. Um, this sucks. The brush is actually really nice. Um, yeah, uh, I'll be using everything except for the matte highlight and the sponge. I say yes. It's expensive, but though, so if you don't want to put out that money, no. But since I'm a makeup collector and I love the Kardashians, I'm super amped, man. I really like it. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below in the comments. Or you can get me on Instagram, Megan McRae, same way I spell it here. Like this video, subscribe, hit the bell button. It'll notify you every time I upload. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.